It's uh, the fertilizer space which has been in focus. So let's go across to Malvika Jain who's speaking with the fertilizer minister Anand Kumar. Therefore, the Honorable Prime Minister led uh, Union Cabinet took a decision mm -hmm. that we will continue with the subsidy regime mm -hmm. for these three plants which are running on NAFTA mm -hmm. till they get gas supply. That's a, uh, taking cue from that, you said uh, till they get gas supply. Are we working with some sort of a deadline, maybe a two-year or three-year program that we're working with in terms of providing gas to them? And what is the kind of timeline that we're looking at in terms of the three pipelines that you described to us? We believe they're still at the DPR stage. Uh, how, mu how many more months or years to go before we can uh, actually realize the supply of gas? Actually, the then uh, UPA government, Congress government at the center took a decision to convert these three plants to gas-based plants in 2007. They took a sweet seven years' time thinking about it and doing nothing. Therefore, yes, only after uh, our government came in, in 2014 May, mm -hmm. I uh, convened many meetings between the chief ministers of uh, respective states mm -hmm. and the Ministry of uh, Fertilizers mm -hmm. to sort out these issues. Okay. I think after a lot of persuasion, a lot of homework, uh, we are in a stage of initiating the entire uh, pipeline mm -hmm. and it will definitely take two to two and a half years to complete and commission. Uh, so just uh, talking about the subsidy angle of this, uh, what is the additional burden that the government is looking at on account of extending the NAFTA subsidies? Uh, it will be 890 crore rupees mm -hmm. per year, additional uh, subsidy. Uh, totally 4,500 crore rupees of subsidy. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, uh, government has taken a decision, Modi government has taken a decision that uh, we are committed to the farmers' welfare and their uh, fertilizer security. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are ready to forego this additionality. Okay. So just one final question. Uh, this one, a slightly associated issue with respect to linking the subsidies with DBT. That was something that the government was working on. If you can just give us a status update of sorts as to where things stand right now. Has the report been submitted? If at all, and what are the recommendations? We have already installed a fertilizer monitoring uh, system, F FMS. Now we are capable of monitoring uh, uh, from uh, production to the dealer, dealer to the retailer, and retailer to the farmer also. But as you know that uh, the uh, farm, the persons, the farmers who are holding the farmlands in the country, all of them do not do the cultivation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, 50% of the landowners do the cultivation. Mm -hmm. Other 50% people, they do not own the land. Mm -hmm. There are such issues. Therefore, we have appointed a task force mm -hmm. on working on the DBT, direct benefit uh, transfer, mm -hmm. and I'm awaiting the, its report. Fair enough, sir. Really appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so that's the latest coming in from the Fertilizer Minister.